um, ma mini, mini, max regret criterion. That is number three. Mini, max, there's a word regret. Uh, there's a word regret there. So the naming follows the approach that the criterion takes. So it was an intelligent way of uh, designing these techniques. So the minimax, mini max, minimizing the maximum regret, minimizing the maximum regret. The other one was maxi max, maximizing the maximum. The other one was mini, no, maxi mini. Maxi mean, meaning that you want the maximum of the minimum. This one, you want to select the minimum of the maximum regret, meaning there is a regret. Okay, so the approach or technique is based upon the assumption that the decision maker might experience some regret. There are those cases where you regret and say, ah, why didn't I consider A? Hmm? I regret considering B or I regret considering C. So that's the regret that decision makers usually go through, that kind of regret. So uh, based upon the assumption that the decision maker might experience uh, regret after he has made the decision and the events have actually occurred and there's no turning back. The criterion follows the opportunity loss approach. So I did not talk about opportunity loss when we are doing um, risk because I, I said under risk, there are two approaches. There is expected monetary value and opportunity loss. So I did not do this because I knew we're going to find it here. So here we are going to look at the opportunity loss. How is it uh, determined? So the criterion follows the opportunity loss approach and proceeds by identifying the alternative which minimizes the maximum opportunity loss, which each, uh, I mean, within each alternative, within each alternative. After computing the opportunity loss values, pick out the maximum per row and then get the minimum of the maximum, okay? The minimum of the maximum is selected, minimax is selected from the alternative with the minimum value from the column of the maximum uh, values. Okay, from the column of the maximum values. I'm going to demonstrate that. But before I go there, I just want to make a correction. I think I had uh, wrongly uh, uh, looked at this table. This, this was okay because I had labeled this. I had labeled this one minimum payoff. I just saw it when you guys were writing down. So this one is okay. What you do, you show the minimum payoffs here, identify them, and then select the maximum, uh, the, be the better one. This is the maximum. This is the maxi of the mini, max of the mean. So again, we are going to do the same almost, the same thing here. Uh, coming back here on the regret, minimax regret criterion. The same question, but this time round, we are going to determine the minimax, the mini max uh, regret, minimize the maximum regret. Okay, same information, but this time round, we shall need to look at this table as you compute the opportunity losses, as you compute the opportunity losses. So I'm going to ask, um, I'm going to ask someone here to help us. Dennis, you're going to unmute. We are going to compute with Dennis the opportunity losses. I need someone with a calculator. Dennis, you have a calculator there? Dennis? You can I okay, perfect. So Dennis, we are, we are going to begin with um, 
we are going to begin from here. Uh, alternative X, we are going to compute the opportunity losses. Now, how do we get the opportunity loss? We look at the event. So when you look at event A, yeah, we have eight, uh, 8,000, um, negative four and 14. So you, 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 you get the highest among them. Mm. So which one is the highest here? 14,000. 14,000. Yes. So meaning that 14,000 is the best. So the guy who selects X will have missed out on selecting the best. The guy who selects Y will have missed out. Whereas the guy who selects Z will be jubilating. So meaning that at Z, there is no regret. Regret is zero. You see that? There's no regret. So me meaning that uh, it is 14, it is the highest minus the highest. The, yeah, the highest minus the highest for Z. Then for Y, it's going to be the highest minus the payoff for that particular uh, alternative. So it is 14 minus negative four. What do you get? 14 minus 400, 4,000. 4, 4, yeah, 4,000. Okay, 14 minus minus. You have forgotten. It is, uh, sorry, sorry. It is yeah. uh, 18,000. 18,000. So that one gives you 18,000. Then we have this 14 minus the 8. You see that? 6,000. Which gives you 6,000. 6,000. Yep. So those are the opportunity losses that the guy who selects X. The opportunity loss is 6,000. He will regret. He will lose 6,000. Then why 18,000? The Z does not regret. Let's go to number B. B, the best is what? Basing on this explanation, the best is what? 12,000. 12, perfect. The best is 12. Because then you can we compare with zero right. and, this, and the six comes to 12. So it's going to be 12,000. Minus 12,000, yeah. minus 12,000. Everywhere you subtract the 12,000. So the first one is 12,000 minus zero. And the other one is okay. the 12,000 minus 12,000, right? Zero, yes. Then this 12,000 minus six. six. Uh -huh. six so the first one here is, is 12,000, am I right? Yes. Then the second one is? Zero. The zero, then this one is? 6,000. 6,000, perfect. So the figures in yellow are the opportunity losses. So members, I'm going to give you an opportunity. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. I'm going to give members an opportunity to work out the opportunity losses. Let's start with C. You, you show me the one for X, Y, and Z in the chart. You, you tell me the opportunity losses. X is this, Y is this, Z is this. Then we go to the one of D. Let's begin with C. I'm giving you some two minutes. Do that, share with me the chat. So in the, in the um, chat here, I can see two submissions. Uh, CX is uh, 28. Confirmed by Paulino and Sarah. Why? Let me see. Why is this zero? True. Why is zero? Yes. Confirmed by the two. Z is eighteen thousand. Then for D, you can see two thousand. 10,000, zero. 
So that one is confirmed by Sarah as well. The rest can two, three, four other people confirm this. If I proceed to do the maxi, uh, the maximum regret. Okay. Frida and Elias have confirmed. So I hope all the rest are okay with that. Um, perfect. So now we are going to the regret part, the regret. So we look at X. When you look at X, I have a 6,000 here. I have a 12,000 there. I have a 28 and 2,000. So the maximum regret is 28,000. When I look at all those figures, the maximum is 28,000. Then when I come to Y, I have 18,000, a zero, a zero, a 10. So the maximum is, the maximum regret is 18,000. Then when we go to Z, I have a zero here. I have a 6,000, I have a 18,000, I have a zero. So the maximum is 18,000. So I wanted to actually, actually share this question where there's even a tie so that you, you're not confused in case you have something like this in the exam, you can be able to draw your conclusion. So in these circumstances, we see that the decision maker who follows the mini max regret is going to select the um, minimum, okay? Is going to select the minimum of the maximum regret. So these are all the maximum regrets, but we want to get the mini, the mini mum, okay? The minimum of the maximum. Now, as you can see, there's a tie here. The minimum is 18 because it can't be 28 is the greatest of all these. So it's 18. So the decision maker will actually select either alternative Y or Z. Okay, either alternative Y or Z because these are the ones that correspond to the minimum uh, of the maximum regret. So we are going to do our conclusion here that the decision maker uh, therefore the decision maker shall select either alternative uh, y or z since these correspond uh, with the, the minimum of the maximum regret. They correspond with the minimum of the maximum regret. Okay, so that marks the end of our decision rules, but I'm going to give you some minutes here. 